you know, as I speak to so many of you and have the opportunity to dialogue and just chit chat, you know, I speak to you guys and certain people in certain industries and some people have had these jobs and they've been at their, their company for many years or they've, they've been on the job for X amount of time. And I'm noticing so many people are, are disgruntled and, and, you know, they feel entitled and they're not happy in their current situation because they feel as though the job owes them something. you to understand the job the company it owes you nothing let me say that again you are owed nothing you are owed what you negotiate you know when you came into that company whatever you signed on for whatever you agreed to in your initial contract or if you work hourly or whatever it is if the company is honoring that agreement, if they are giving you your annual bumps, if they are giving you whatever personal days off per year, whatever they're doing that you agreed to, that is what they owe you. Nothing more. The fact that you have come in early and you stayed late and you've helped to increase the company's bottom line to a certain financial level and you've done whatever you've personally done, great. Any smart boss, any smart company, it would behoove them to keep great talent. But you have to go in and you have to negotiate that. But maybe, you know, because the grass is greener, it's always greener from the other side. People have a way, you know, just us as, as individuals and human beings, you know, we follow the first law of the land, which is self-preservation. We look and we worry about our bills and we want to do better. We want to make more money, but we don't think what it really takes to run a company. Maybe the company's just, it looks great, but maybe they're not in position to take care of you the way you feel you're entitled to. You know, there's so many behind the scenes expenses that it takes to run a company to keep an office open. And I'm not advocating, I'm just saying, understand, you're owed nothing. You know, even if the company is making buku money and they tell you no, you always have the option to walk. You always have the option to man up, get your resume together. And if you are as dope as you think you are, if you are really as, as great as you feel and as qualified as you feel in the marketplace, the marketplace will compensate you. But sometimes you have to walk or be willing to walk because the company owes you nothing. Nothing. As you guys know, I speak about it all the time. I come from the music industry. And, you know, we started at Bad Boy when Bad Boy was literally in an office the size of a one bedroom apartment. Just one bedroom, one bathroom. It was desks on top of desks, one fax machine in the entire office. And that was back when people actually used faxes. And, you know, it was a lot of us who put in blood, sweat, and tears to help the company grow. And Puff has gone on to do some really great things with his life. Star Sean John, take over, you know, the fashion industry, Ciroc, the liquor industry, and now television with Revolt and all the other endeavors in between. But I never got it twisted. And, and, and when I speak to a lot of my peers and people are like actually upset and they feel as though, you know, they're owed something. It's like, no, your last name ain't Combs. Last I checked, my last name ain't Combs. We agreed to whatever it is that we agreed to, and that is what we were compensated. Now, granted, Puff has taken care of many of us, helped set us up, help us start companies, help position us in the marketplace so that we can go on and be self-employed and be business owners and really feed our families beyond that brand. But the point is, if he didn't, we're owed nothing. You know, it's just in that case, we know the owner of the company, but how many individuals, how many of you guys actually know the owner of your company? You might know your boss, you might know your supervisor, but you don't know who's at the top floor, you know, looking down and saying, I built this company from scratch. Guys, really get rid of this thinking, thinking. You know, if you're as bad as you say you are, if you're a person who really gets it done, then guess what? 
there is somebody out there who would love to have you. They love to have you. You know, I just think about where I come from in the industry and, and people really got it confused. And I hope you're not one of them. People got it confused. It was your position, that, that job position that you had, that was hot. It was never you. Your phone was blowing up. Emails were coming in by the dozens. People couldn't stop saying your name because they needed you. Because of your position. But the person is interchangeable. The position is actually what was hot. And people would leave or get fired, move on and understand real quick and then be disgruntled like, you know, oh, nobody's calling me anymore. I did X, Y, and Z for this amount of people and, you know, I did so much for the company I just left and nobody's picking up. No, it was never you. It was your position. So really stop and think, guys. If you're as great as you think you are, stop being scared to move on. Get your resume together. You might be worth 10 times more than what you're being paid now. Go out there, get your money, get your worth. But come into work and treat it like it's your first day. Understand, I was hired to do a certain position and maybe your, your, your boss or maybe your department doesn't want you to do anything outside of that position. Or maybe they give you the leverage to do something out of that position, but they're not entitled to. But either which way, if you've outgrown it, you know what, get your resume together and move on. Maybe it's time that you open your own door, start your own business, chase your dreams beyond being an employee and it's time for you to be a boss and be an employer. But understand this world, your job, your boss, that position, it, the industry, it doesn't owe you anything. So do me a favor guys, Really, sit back, assess your situation, be appreciative because there are people out there who are not working. Don't be disgruntled. Do what you need to do to get yourself in a better financial position and that might mean moving on. Peace and love, guys. Make every move a power move and I'll catch you on the next video. What's up guys, thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.